what's up beautiful people how are you all doing welcome back to my channel and to the garden yaje here and the purpose of today's video is to share with you how you can preserve your bitter leaves through the colder months or winter months so that next year you still have bitter leaves and this is based on my experience of cultivating bitter leaves in my zone 9a garden out here in houston in the usa for over 20 years now so if you are growing bitter leaves and you don't know if your bitter leaves will survive the winter months or what to do to ensure that your bitter leaves survive the winter months and then you have them again next year watch because i will share with you my thoughts if you're new to the channel hello and welcome again my name is yaje and i'm passionate about gardening and wellness so i share gardening and wellness videos on this channel kindly consider subscribing if what i share adds value to you and please do not forget to give thumbs up if i say something that you're like yes or if I say something that you don't agree with, let me know in the comment section. Bottom line is let's interact, like, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. As I mentioned, I have been growing bitter leaves for over 20 years now, right here in my backyard for a couple of reasons. One, it's a very important vegetable where I come from. Um, and then number two is because bitter leaves are very low maintenance and a very resilient species, a very resilient vegetable. You don't need to do much with it. It doesn't get attacked by a bunch of pests or diseases and you can keep having it year on year on year. So that is to say your bitter leaf is very resilient and it will survive the winter months. In my experience, if your bitter leaves have developed a good root system, um, it can survive even freezing temperatures. We had an epic freeze earlier this year um, in Houston, and I, was, I wasn't sure if my bitter leaves will come back because there was snow on the ground for many, many days. Um, there was ice actually, not just snow, like hard ice on the ground for many days but my bitter leaves came back after the ice melted and it was warm again it, it sprouted so i am very confident that if your bitter leaves have formed a good root system it will survive the colder freezing temperatures however if you're not sure you're just growing your bitter leaves for the first time what i would recommend that you do is cut the stems when it's getting very cold when it's you know temperatures are dropping and you, you you're not gonna have fresh vegetables again what you want to do is go ahead and cut the stems and then apply mulch a lot a thick layer of mulch that way it provides like a blanket so the so that you're sure that your bitter leaves will come back when it is warm again um, next season now let me talk about the other type of bitter leaves because what i just shared has to do with this one right here that is the vernonia amygdalina the bitter bitter leaves um the other one which is vernonia hymenolepsis i'll show you this one right here it is also a perennial just like your bitter leaves um however in my experience the vernonia hymenolepsis even if it survives winter, um, it, it, it doesn't come back very productive, let me just say. In my experience, it's best to start from seeds with the Venonia hymenolepsis, the sweet bitter leaves, every year. It doesn't take that long to, to germinate and grow to the point where you, need, you can harvest. So when you start from seeds, it, it, it's, the harvest is more bountiful. So I will not worry about winterizing your sweet bitter leaves. The Vernonia um, amygdalina, the bitter bitter leaves, this one you can, you can uh, winterize. It has a thicker stem and, and such. Another thing that you can do to ensure that you have the bitter leaves next season is to um, propagate the stems in a container now. So when you harvest your bitter leaves, save the stems plant them in a container and then you can take them inside when it's very cold that way next spring you just bring them out and then you can put them in the ground again 
so just some ideas on what you can do to preserve your bitter leaves during the colder winter months thank you so much for watching if this video added value to you be sure to give some thumbs up share with me your experience if you have additional tips in the comment section below i really do apologize for the noise a lot of people are cutting trees and grass but i wanted to do this video i hope i hope you enjoyed it thank you again grow your own food grow a garden and i'll catch you next time bye yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay.